I'm back, baby. I'm back, baby. Briefly, maybe. This is just a quick one. Seem nice. Seems I got my wing back just in time for the remnants of Hurricane Humberto to hit the UK. It's been pretty crappy here. That's the fire station. I don't know what they're doing. I went down to Membry, uh, home of paramotortraining.com to pick up my wing that was with Simon getting his logo put on it. I was hoping to do an episode on, on the training school and what goes on there. I thought that would be useful for other noobs. But it was a weekday, there weren't many people on the field and it got gusty fairly quick and thermally. So I'll save that for another episode and I'll do like a, a good sort of look at that so lots of people can see what goes on at a training school, what they can expect as they start their training. Uh, that said, there are a couple of guys down there that did their first flights, John and Tim. So I got some video for them. Uh, and then I had a quick little flight myself just to see if I still remembered how. Oh, and I also put on an Atom 80 and ran that up. Completely different from one of the heaviest paramotors that I've got to one of the lightest. And it sounds like a sewing machine. Anyway, I need a new intro to keep up with everyone else. But uh, in the interim, here's the old one. Come a little bit off the throttle now then mate, so that we're not climbing still. Right, so press and hold the red button, get a stand up out of the harness, get ready to flare, do that now. Flare, and run. Well done mate. Well prepared. How was that John? Alright. Yeah? <laughs> bit of a bumpy day to be up there I think, but bumpy, yeah, but that's, that's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enjoyed that. Excellent. Hey, thumbs up mate! <laughs> What's your name, where do you come from? Tim. Tim from Wales, first wife. I forgot his name yesterday and I was like, meh! Who looked? Nice, go that way. Well done. Run, run, run. Keep the power in. Run, run, run. Out the harness. Run, 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 run. Oh! Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Paranew Air flight around the airfield. We are expecting a flight time of 5-10 nice. We are expecting a flight time of five to ten minutes. The weather at our destination is starting to turn thermally, a little bit bumpy, a little bit gusty. The fastened seatbelt sign is a light, so please remain in your seat with your seatbelts fastened until that light goes off. Sandy and Amanda, our delightful cabin crew, are at your service throughout the flight, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll speak to you again soon. Cabin crew, prepare for takeoff. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, it must be two months since I've since I've flown, which has not been nice. So I'm bound to be a bit rusty. Got my wing back, currently getting blown away. Yeah, the thermals are really starting to kick off around here. It's maybe 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon on quite a nice day. Clear prop! Sorry? Yeah, touch too nervous because it's been two months. Yeah. Should have got on it. Okay. Done this plenty of times. <clears throat> we know what we're doing. Uh, 
Up she comes. Okay, we've got a good gust here. Okay, the wind is up and down, up and down. Come on then, baby. Let's get you up there. Nothing. <laughs> Look at that sock, it's pointing the other way now. That one's flying. That one's pointing the opposite direction. Sorry ladies and gentlemen for the delay. It's that gusty that he set up for a reverse. You know, you fluff your wing out and it's like, whoa, that's, that's strong, that's gonna be a, a nice positive reverse. By the time you get to take off, it's gone. And we got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big aviation windsock down there, uh, flapping low, that's gonna be a heavy one. We've got a light one over here on a pole, both currently pointing different directions, but a minute ago, that one was stood out almost straight in a real strong gust, and this one was hanging limp and rotating around the pole. Right, let's get a quick forward in. There's not a fluffer window. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Woo I'm back, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's bumpy. And crappy. Thermals and gusts. So when there's thermals, you're better off going up high where the energy dissipates. Thank you, Giles. Um, but I'm not going up high. I am literally just dipping my tip in here. I just wanted to get in the air. It's been two bloody months. Woo! So I've got a nice new logo on my wing, which you can't see, because I don't have a foot cam on. And I didn't reverse in the end. Oh yeah, this feels good. Yeah, baby. Let's go over here to the motorway. Oh, yeah, rocky. Uh, I guess that's thermal coming off these solar panels, which I am downwind of at the moment. So I'll go around these. I'm getting some free height, quite substantially. <laughs> we get upwind of these panels. Oh, yeah, it's rocky. Ah, here we have the M4, the main road connecting uh, London to West England, otherwise known as Wales. Yeah, got a lot of height in that thermal there, so I'll bleed a bit off along the edge of the airfield here. Uh, hook in on this uh, right-hand runway. Have a look at the sock, see what it's saying. But the gust cycles are quite... The differential between nil wind and the strength of the gust cycle down there is like quite marked. I'd estimate 15 to 20 miles an hour. And there's the hangars down there where we did the promo photos for Rafa 40. But it's pouring with rain. Yeah, it's horrid bumpy. And I think there's some rotor from these trees here as well.
that felt good. That landing was quick. Whatever wind there is, I think, is coming roughly from this direction. And as soon as I was in the shadow of the trees, suddenly everything accelerated. It's quite nice. So just a quickie, I've got less work on now. Well, I've still got lots of work, but there's less pressure. Uh, so I'll be slowly getting back into flying and videos. Thanks for sticking with me if you've stuck along this far. And uh, sorry for the little break, but life got a bit overwhelming for a while there. It's the PMT Autumn Flying this weekend down in Cornwall. Uh, weather looks crap, so I'll pack my flying kit, but I'll take extra beer just in case. We might get a flyable window. Uh, otherwise, it's a social with good people. So if anything happens worth posting, I'll post it. See you next time.